I was going to ask the same question. Should we go through one round of just one poem reading after I do my two poems here? And if we yeah. run late, we run yeah. late. If we're, yeah, yeah, I'm getting guesses yeah. for it. So yippee skippy, we've got a round of one after I read two poems from the Down in the Dirt, January to April 2022 issue collection book titled The Ice That Was. The ice that was it's difficult to see, but that's a block of ice from the Southern Ocean. So anyway, um, collection of four issues that are put together into one book, and I am going to open this up and find two poems for you. Count them two. This first one, haha, is titled haha. I got weird ones for you. This one's titled "Evil is Tricky." People have fought in wars, killed people, had to justify it in their minds. Women have been raped, then told it was the way they dressed to lure the lust. Then again, young women are sold for sex acts to insanely rich middle-aged men. People don't want to believe life is a delusion, but evil is a dog you, that you think that you can, you, you'd recognize them you know, until well, because evil is tricky, evil just, evil just hides in plain sight. People live day by day, and they think that even though their life is day-to-day, -day, only nothingness, and going through the motions, they still think that life is generally good, and that they're only missing out on the good life because they didn't take the right steps or make the right choices. And maybe that's, it's only the select few who are, see that there's a difference between good and evil, and that that difference is just paper thin, tissue thin. That maybe just a few can actually see that line, that paper thin line that they dance on every day. I know, what a mood killer that one was. Evil is tricky. Um, <laughs> this one's a little bit weirder and a different theme and this one I think I did in a show and I took a selfie and turned around and everybody I'm like everybody take selfies of yourself at the same time as we're doing this this is a poem that's called popular and useless a part of us wants to be famous we want everyone to know us and love us if I'm wrong explain to me the selfie stick <laughs> But think about it. The most popular things, I mean more popular than people, are products. Coke, Harley, Kodak, Levi's, Nike, even 7-Eleven. All these things are so much more known than you or me. All these things are so popular and they all have no substance. So maybe the selfie stick makes sense. If we all just want to be popular, if we all just want to be famous, maybe we've learned how to take our cues for being perfect by being generic and having no substance at all. So let's go and start the show. Time to turn your camera toward yourself. Open your eyes wide, but don't smile too hard so you can be wrinkle free. And post that perfect picture on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest to show everyone how on the surface your picture perfect. Don't bother looking for anything out of the surface. Just inject botulism into your face so that you can't even show any expressions because nothing's too far for surface beauty. So, you want to be known? Then focus on the out your outsides and don't worry what's on the inside at all. <laughs> Popular and useless. <laughs> popular and useless. Okay, John suggested it and so I am totally in agreement with we go through one round and we do one poem and we close it off and if we run a little late, not a problem because we're not in the bookstore defining us. So